Have you ever wanted to live in a ceramic tub in the middle of town with almost no possessions? Okay, maybe not here. But that's because we live in freezing Minnesota. What if you lived somewhere nicer, like Greece? Oh no, that's bad as well. But if you lived in ancient times, you can be homeless in comfort without having to worry about... That. You could just be like the ancient Greek philosopher Diogenes of Sinop, who was one of the founders of one of the biggest philosophies, cynicism. Not the kind of cynicism like sitting down for the Pledge of Allegiance or yelling at CNN. The kind of cynicism I'm talking about is the rejection of conventional desires like power, wealth, fame, and in favor of a more moderate lifestyle. And Diogenes... Well, let's just say he took this thought process and this philosophy and put it on steroids. Diogenes was one of the smartest men in his time, and he had very few possessions. One time, he saw a child drinking water with his hands, and he said, A child has surpassed me in simplicity. And then he threw the cup away. Then later, he saw a child eating lentils off of a leaf using bread as his spoon. He then threw the bowl away. If you think your family is cheap, try being Diogenes cheap! Oh yeah, not only was he famous in Athens, he was also famous in Macedonia. You know who also lives in Macedonia? Alexander the Great! Alexander liked Diogenes so much that he decided to go meet him. So let me set the scene, okay? Diogenes is just sitting in a ceramic tub, writing his papers, writing his poems, doing, you know, Doing his thing, doing what a philosopher does best. And then, Alexander walks up to him, introduces himself, and asks if he can do any favor. And I mean anything. We're, we're talking about Alexander the Great here, so he could do anything. Shut up, I'm making a video for school! And then Diogenes says, Yes, stand out of my sunlight. Let me put this into context for you. A homeless man just told... Alexander III, the Basilius of Macedon, the Hegemon of the Hellenic League, the Shahanshah of Persia, the Pharaoh of Egypt, the Lord of Asia, to move aside. And then Alexander declared, if I were not Alexander, then I wish to be Diogenes. Then Diogenes replied, if I were not Diogenes, I would still wish to be Diogenes. Huh? This event shows that he literally did not care if you were a slave or literally the most powerful military commander ever. Back in ancient times, there was, and still is for whatever reason, a burning question that ancient Greek philosophers wanted to answer. What is a man in the fewest words possible? Now Plato gave a pretty tongue-in-cheek answer with featherless biped. Now Diogenes looked at this and said, Oh, I'll give you a featherless biped. He then plucked a chicken and then brought it to one of Plato's lectures, and then showed it, announcing, Behold! A man! Plato then amended his statement to a featherless biped with broad, flat nails. Thank you for watching my presentation on Diogenes.